Hello, welcome. Today we will talk about data tables. Data table is a very powerful tool that can be used to enrich your simple HTML table. You can add multiple features using data table into your simple HTML table like paging, searching, row grouping, and many other features. Here is a website of data tables that is datatables.net. You can explore the website and you will see all the features here so today we will talk about the data tables how we can add the data tables in asp.net mvc application so i have a view mvc view here it has these three columns which will show data and this column will show edit and delete icons so this is a simple html table and i will apply data table to this html table so in order to load data from asp.net application backend i have written this method so these are the columns which will be displayed in the table and these are the property names which will be bound to the data so first column is item name item price and item quantity and the fourth column which will have edit and delete icons so we can add the custom html to any column in data table like this using the render function so i have added this html in the fourth column now i have another function here bind server side data table and it has some parameters like table ID, URL from which data will be loaded for the table, columns, these are the columns of table. And then I have query params if we have extra search parameters to be sent to the backend. And then I have searching, paging, and info parameters. So if I go to the definition of this function, you can see this is a function. So what it takes is table ID, URL from which data will be loaded, columns of the table, query params, searching, paging, info. So these are all the options which we can use in table to show hide different features. So here is the code of server side data table you can see i have mined the data table with this id and server side is true and these are the features you can turn on or off and here is the ajax parameter and you can pass the url from which data will be loaded and if you have extra parameters you can add those parameters in the data property so this is the configuration of server side data table and now i go to the controller so in the controller i have this method load inventory items this is accepting an object of data table post model class so please make sure that you create this class when you create server side data tables so if i go to the definition of this class so it has these properties so data table by default posts the data in these properties with same name start length columns search so This is all the model classes which data table needs. Okay, so now I go to the my web page. So you can see that data is displayed like this. And here you can see the edit and delete icons are also being displayed. 
and searching option and info option is also visible now if we go and turn this off so here so this is basically searching so we will turn it off and reload the page so you can see the search box is gone now so same is like for the info if i set this to false this will also be removed so there are other options as well you can configure for the data table i will post a complete video of how data table is implemented in asp.net application with store procedure and all the logic that is being handled that how many records will be shown on the page how this sorting will work and how this search will work i will post a video on this soon i hope you like this thank you for watching